Baruch Shama Vehaya Haolaham Baruch Hu Baruch Osev Reshit Baruch Shemo Baruch Omer Veoseh Baruch Hu Baruch Kol Zeom Kayehem Baruch Shemo Baruch Merachem Al Haaretz Baruch Hu Baruch Merachem Al Habriyot Baruch Shemo Baruch Meshalem Sachar Tov Nireahav Baruch Hu Baruch Mavir Afela Umevi Oraha Baruch Shemo Baruch Hai Laad Vekayam Lanetzach Baruch Hu Baruch Podeh Umatzir Baruch Hu Ubaruch Shemo As we now enter into Pesuke de Zimra, the singing of the Psalms, as we prepare for the formal part of the service to come. Page 209, Psalm 92. <laughs> להגיד בבוקר חסדך ואמונתך בלילות עלי עשור ועלי נבל עלי חיגיון וחינור עלי עשור ועלי נבל עלי חיגיון וחינור טוב להודות לאדוני ולזמל לשמך עליון כי שמחתני אדוני בפועלך במעשה ידיך ארנן מה גדלו מעשיך אדוני מאוד עמקו מחשבותיך מגד לומסך אדוני, מאוד עמקו מחשבותיך, מגד לומסך יד, מאוד עמקו מחשבותיך, מגד Maseh Hayam Page 231, Psalm 
Our Siddur says that when the minyan is present, the Baha'u is said, I'm grateful for all the ways we've been able to create that minyan, whether by computer or in this sanctuary. I feel inspired that in all the worries of the past two years, we haven't lost this chance to be together, to sing together in voices that we can hear and in voices we may have to imagine. Bahu et Adonai Hamevorai Baruch Adonai Hamevorai Leolam Vaheim Baruch Adonai Hamevorai Leolam Vaheim Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Yotse rovru vore hoshek, o se shalom vore atakol, Baruchata Adonai Eloheinu Melech, Haolam Yotse ror, uvore hoshek, o se shalom vore atakol. Page two fifty three Eladon Eladon al Kolhama Asim Baruch Borach Befiko Nishama Gorlo Vituvo Male Olam Da Udvuna Sove Bimoto Hamid Gae Achayota Kodesh Benedar Bechavo Al-Hamilkava, <laughs> Na ezi vam bechol haolam, semechim birtzetam, desasim bevoam, osim beem aritzon kona. Pe'er bechavod notnim elishmbo, zohalla berin ale zecher malchuto. Kara la shemesh veyizrach ol, ra'a vehid kil tzurat havana la sheva, notnim lo. Kol tseva marom, tiferet urgdula, tzafim v'yofanim, tzafim v'yofanim, v'chay otay kodesh, yalai, 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 Page two sixty nine, last two lines. O Chada O Chada shall see on Tahir, Veniz Kehulan, Ubim Herole Oro. O Chada shall see on Tahir, Veniz Kehulan, Ubim Herole Oro. O Chada shall see on Tahir, Veniz Kehulan, Ubim Herole Oro. Baruch Ataronai, Yotzerame. Anchor the eternity of love in your own soul and embed this planet with its goodness. John Lewis. Ahava Rabba on page 273.
seat from the four corners of our talit to symbolize the unity of the Jewish people and all people who dwell on earth. Lahavienu le shalom merbakan pota aretz vetolicheinu kominiut le arzenu ki el poel yeshuot ata vekeravtanu le shimcha hagadol sela beemet להודות לך ולייחדך באהבה, ברוך אתה אדוני, ברוך שמו, אוהב עמו ישראל. Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Please continue with the verses on the following pages or your own meditations.
ואומר אדוני אל משה לאמור, דבר בני ישראל ואמרת עליהם, ועשו להם ציצית, על כנפי דבריהם לדורתם, ונתנו על ציצית, על כנף הטיל תחלק, והיה לכם לציצית, וריצם אותו. ושרתם את כל מצוות אדוני, ועשיתם אותם, ולא תטעו רוח הרי לבבכם, ואברי עיניכם, אשר אתם צונים אחריהם, למען תזכרו, ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ויתם תרשים לאלוהיכם, אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר חוצתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אדוני אלוהיכם, אמן. תהילות ליל עליון ברוך ומבורך הוא של מרים ובני ישראל לכאן הוא שירה בשמחה רבה בשמחה רבה ואמרו כולם מי כמוך באלים אדוני, מי כמוך נעדר בקודש, נורא תהילות אוסף אליה. שירה חדשה שבחוגי עולים לשמך על שפת הים יחד כולם הודו, והמליכו ואמרו, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. צור ישראל, קומה בעזרת ישראל, ובדך ינומך, יהודה וישראל. Go aleinu, Adonai tzivaot shemo, Kedosh Yisrael, Baruch ata Adonai, Kal Yisrael. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufiyan gidzehi latecha. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu Elohe Abraham Elohe Sara Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Rivka Elohe Yaakov Elohe Rachel Elohe Lea אל הגדול, הגיבור והנורא, אל עליון, גומר חסדים טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימות, מביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. מלך חוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני. מגן אברהם בעזרת שרה, אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, רב להושיע, משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם, מחכה חיים בחסד, מחיית כל חיים ברחמים רבים, תומך נופלים ורופא חולים. ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר, מי כמוך בעל גיבורות, ומדום אליו, מלך מניב ומחיה. 
Please continue with the prayers on the following pages or your own meditations. We'll join together at the end with a prayer for peace.
Please join me in a song for peace in these difficult times, holding in our hearts those for whom peace seems an impossible dream. Page 381, Kadish Kabal. So we have come to our Torah service, and I would like to invite up our Ark openers, Melissa Crow and Shira Katz Crow, and Eliana Hurwitz, who will begin our service for us. Shalom. 
Moshe. Three lines on page 387. Someday soon we will do that and we will finally be able to walk through the synagogue again. It will happen, I promise, I hope. Shabbat Shalom. Today is Shabbat Shagalim, the day when the Maftir readings reach back to Kitisa, while the first readings come from Parsha Vayater. Normally we would bring out two Torahs for these readings, but Rabbi Fred and his benevolence thought it would be kinder if I only had to deal with one, and I thank him. So we will read from both Parshot within one scroll today. In the Maftir Kitisa, we will be instructed that every Israelite, at least every male Israelite, shall pay a half a shekel in dues. The timing was intentional as it preceded the event of the people making pilgrimage for the festival of Passover. And as is stated in the Mishnah, on the 15th of Adar, they read the Megillah. I wonder what day that is. In the walled cities and repair the paths and roads and pools of water. 
so that the time the people arrive for Pesach, the roadways and the temple are ready for the multitude. So that the pragmatic reason, so that's the pragmatic reason for Shabbat Shekalim, the Shabbat where the announcement is sung out that it's about time to pay your dues. But the Torah tells us it's for a much deeper type of infrastructure repair. Yitisa. When you take a census of the Israelite men according to their army enrollment, each shall pay Adonai a ransom for himself on being enrolled, that no plague may come upon them through their being enrolled. The rich shall not pay, po pay more, and the poor shall not pay less than half a shekel when giving Adonai's offering as expiation for your person. Expiation, that's a good word, to expiate. The act of making satisfaction for an offense, atonement, or reparation. It's as if God knew there were going to be doubts. Was it an advance deposit for what he anticipated was about to happen? For the misgivings, he knew through his omniscience that we would have when things got tough. This ransom was not from each according to their ability to make the offering. Poor and rich alike were expected to pay the same. Money is a symbolic construct in the first place, so perhaps this passage can be read as being about what it costs us when we let our doubts overshadow our convictions. The Israelites lost their faith when they couldn't feel the presence of God when Moses left them to receive the, mount, the commandments on Mount Sinai. They realized that without a parental presence, they felt intolerably abandoned. Even a temporary absence was unbearable. They either lost the sense or through years of slavery and hardship were never able to learn that as long as they felt the presence of their own selves, their own souls, that they would never be alone. Perhaps generations of servitude stole from them the sense that being an embodied soul in their own right affords them company, that no one is truly alone as long as we have ourselves. Is that what the idea of God is supposed to teach us, that we have within us that sense of something holy, something divine, and then when we lose that sense, we are lost, we have no anchor? Perhaps God wanted and wants us to realize that that spark of the divine allows us to live through life's challenges, that we do not need to give in to despair because the spark of life is always within us, even when life is particularly difficult, even when we cannot find the answers, even when we feel lost in the desert. We are never alone. Even when wars are raging and we feel powerless to stop them, powerless to change the course of history as we live in its unfolding right now. Perhaps God's wrath when the Israelites danced before the golden calf is that they gave away that spark and placed it in an object that they lost themselves, their own godliness, and gave it to an idol, that they objectified that which cannot be quantified, cannot be made into matter because it transcends matter. Perhaps God was angry because the people forgot the basic tenet that they are enough, that we are enough, that we matter because we exist, because God created us, and that was good. The Torah teaches us that anyone who does a sacred thing for a profane or mundane reason, who takes the holy anointed oil and uses it for their own purpose, who works on the Sabbath, who eats of sanctified offerings and is not a priest, anyone who does any of a myriad of other sins of this magnitude will surely die. When taken literally, the consequences are quite dire and profoundly, tragically misdirected. When seen as part of the symbolic journey that I'm guessing most of us here tend to read in the scriptures, what does it mean that we will surely die? Is death in this sense the ultimate and premature surrender, to let the light go out of our eyes before that light is extinguished by age, by illness, by time, to give in to despair rather than diving to the depths of joy, fear, gratitude, and pain and facing the most fragile parts of our psyches? That we will surely die could be a warning, cautioning us against giving in to the hopelessness, while at the same time urging us not to turn to a simple answer, an idol, a false leader, or false god. However we hold the concept of the divine, whether as actual deity or mythic symbol, to wait for salvation before we take action for ourselves and for our planet does not bode well for anyone. There is no image, no person, no messiah that can guarantee that life will turn out okay. No promise of some great reward in order to motivate us to be better, to do better now. That has to come from within. Otherwise, whatever we rely on can be too easily knocked off the altar we place beneath it with no leg to stand on. And speaking of altars, I'm off to you. Exodus 36, you shall make an altar for burning incense. Make it of etze shitim, acacia wood. 
Place it in front of the curtain that is over the Ark of the Pact, where I will meet with you. Where I will meet with you. Acacia wood is a heavy hardwood that stands up to changes of temperature and humidity. It's also prone to cracking if not prepared through a special drying regimen. As it is also one of the few types of wood that the Israelites would have found on their journey, it was a natural choice for the creation of the tabernacle, for the creation of an enduring artifact, an enduring symbol of our people. We could skip over this and just read it as a parsha on the description of materials, one of those times that we talk about other things than the words written in the Torah. But we could take a moment and explore that metaphor. So acacia wood is resilient. Acacia is the wood chosen for the tabernacle, chosen in the hopes that we would be standing before that place for a long time. And at the same time as we appreciate its durability, we also need to remember that how we treat it will greatly impact its ability to be there for us when we need it most. We have to treat the wood carefully or it will crack and lose all its resilience. All its resilience will be lost. Resilience is a word I know I use a lot these days. It means to return to the original position, to return to the original shape after com uh, compression, to bounce back. These days, this years, these years, we have had more than our share of that crushing feeling, that sense that we will never be the same, never feel at peace again, never return to who we were before things got this messy. When someone goes through something very difficult, we praise them for getting up in the morning, for moving on. We praise the child who has a stiff upper lip. And resilience is a good thing. It is a relief to find it in ourselves, to find it in those around us. We need the ability to recover. We need to be able to go on. And yet, if we move too quickly, if we stop grieving before we are done, if we brush past the time needed to allow the tears to flow, to allow the fear to cause our bodies to tremble, if we stiffen our spines and move forward before we are ready, something inside just might snap. True resilience takes time. Allowing ourselves to take a breath before we leap into action or throw something at the television when the news breaks our hearts means there's a better chance we will be able to engage in the long game. That more than ever these days seems to be required in order to keep our heads above water. That seems to be necessary to continue in our commitment to repair the world. Shabbat Shalom. And now we have our Torah service. Would you like to call up our Gabbai? And our first Torah, our Gabbai and first Torah reader. And the first Aliyah is Matt Wald. few bits and pieces. <laughs> Someone just called for the emergency yod, and I think Matt is providing I one. Oh, we have one. Got Yay. one. Matt, we have. If you're in the new plow, we will be on page 616. Uh, if you're in the other version, we're at ex Exodus chapter 36, verse 20. Six, page 671. Six, 616 or 671. 
Old Cloud is 671. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMorach Baruch Adonai HaMorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kirvanu La'avodato V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen Vayat HaTakashim LaMishkan Atzei shitim omdim, eser amot aruch hakaresh, ba'ama v'chatsi ha'ama, rochal hakeresh ha'chad, shte yadot lakeresh ha'chad, mishul avot ha'chad el ha'chad. Kein asa l'chok ha'she ha'mishkan, ba'yat ha'tegashim la'mishkan, עשרים קרשים לפעת נגב תימנה וארבעים עד נהי כסף עשה תחת עשרים הקרשים תחת עשרים הקרשים עצי אדנים תחת הקרש האחת תחת הקרש האחת לשתי עדותיו ושני אדנים תחת הקרש האחד לשני עדותיו. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. יעמוד מרק פאפאו and your name in Hebrew is Mordechai Ben Aharon the Sipor of Aliyah HaTzionit Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMvorach Baruch Adonai Am Barach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kirvanu Lavodato V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Okay, and my apologies, I did not have time to fully prepare this, so I'm going to ask you to just kind of follow along in there while I read from over here. Right right there. Twenty-five to thirty. Twenty-five. Page six seventy-one, six seventy-two in the old clout. Page six sixteen in the new. Okay. 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 Okay.
we pause in the Torah service for the Mishaber, a prayer for healing. As we are not ready to join together in the front of the sanctuary, please rise if you would like where you are seated so that we can share together in the names of those that we are wishing prayers for healing. And if you are here on Zoom, please add the names to the chat box. Wishing a speedy and gentle healing. Excuse us for mechanical difficulties. having the second scroll. Those of us who forget our right, right and left, Samor no baum, no a bat, bat ulin de. Tiporet. Tiporet, la aria hashishit. Okay, so we have, we have jumped, one second, we have jumped to chapter 30, so we're going back a bit, and which verse are we in? 11 to 16. Page 632 in the old so clout, page 584 in the new. Balku et Adonai Hamboa, Baruch Adonai Hamboa, Lolam Vaed, Baruch Adonai Hamboa, Lolam Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai Elohei Numel Haolam, Asher Kirbanu Lavodato, Venatan Lanu et Orato. Amen. 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 <laughs> 
Kodesh B'nai Yisrael, Yichsudehem, Velakenu Yishkoho Per Nafsho, Adonai Bifkodotam, Velo Yihye Vahem, Negev Bifkodotam, Seheikenu Kol Haover Al HaPikudim, Machatzit HaShekel VeShekel HaKodesh, Esrim Gera HaShekel, Machatzit HaShekel, Truma Al Adonai, Kol Haover Al HaPikudim, Mibem Esrim Shana Vamala, Iten Truma Adonai, Hashir Lo Yarbe VeHagal Lo. Yamihit, Mimachatzit, Hashakel, Latete, Teumahat, Adonai, Lechaper, Al Nafshotechem, Velakachta, Et Kesef, Hakipurim, Meet, Bene Israel, Venatata, Oto, Al Avodat, Ohel Moed, Vehaya, Lipne, Bene Israel, Zikaron, Lipne, Adonai, לכפר על נפשותיכם. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטה בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. Shat ke hilat yakov, mora shat ke hilat yakov, mora shat ke hilat yakov, Torah tziva lanu moshe. In these um, rather troubling times, we would like to invite Ralph Nitkin up to do a special prayer for the country. Um, this is by Rabbi Aliyat Kohn who's the senior director of the New Israel Funds New York Tri-State Region. Before that, she was at the JCC in Manhattan. So, our God and God of our ancestors, bless this country and all who dwell within it. Help us to experience the blessings of our lives and circumstances. Strengthen us when we are afraid. Help us to channel our anger so that it motivates us to action. Help us to feel our fear so that we may not become numb. Help us to be generous with others so that we may raise each other up. Help us to be humble in our fear, knowing that as vulnerable as we feel, there are those at greater risk. And that it is our holy work to stand by with them. Help us to taste the sweetness of liberty, to not take for granted the freedoms won in generations past 
or in recent days, to heal and nourish our democracy, that it may be like a tree planted in the water whose roots reach down to the stream. It need not fear drought when it comes, its leaves are always green. Source of life, guide our leaders with righteousness, strengthen their hearts, but keep them from hardening. That they, may not, that they may use their influence and authority to speak truth and act for justice. May all who dwell in this country share in its bounty, enjoy its freedoms, and be protected by its laws. May this nation use its power and wealth to be a voice for justice, peace, and equality for all who dwell on earth. May we be strong and have courage to be bold in our actions and deep in our compassion to discern when we must speak, um, I'm sorry, to discern when we must listen and when we must act, to uproot bigotry, intolerance, misogyny, racism, discrimination, and violence in all its forms, to celebrate the many faces of God reflected in the wondrous diversity of humanity, to welcome the stranger and the immigrant, and to honor the gifts of those who seek refuge and possibility here, as they may have, as they may, as they have since before this nation was born. Let justice well up like waters, and righteousness like a mighty stream. Thank you. Amen. The new moon of the second month of Adar is in this leap year, and it will be next Friday. So please turn to page 425 for the blessing of the new month. Betiten lanu chayim arukim, chayim shel shalom, chayim shel tova, chayim shel bracha, chayim shel mazon ufanasa, chayim shel chilut atzamon, chayim sheyesh bahem ava v'yirat shamayim, chayim sheyim bahem bursha uchlim chayim shel asher bechavod chayim sheyesh bahem yasher utuna v'haskel v'deya. Chayim sheyesh bahem sheyim alu nishalot lifreinu letova. Amen. Selah. Nishanasim rabotenu v'limotenu v'galotam yardot v'yardot v'cherut hu yigalotanu otanu v'karo hu yigalotanu otanu v'karo l'kabek nidchenu m'avakan tfot ha'aret Chaverim kol Yisrael, Chaverim kol Yisrael, Chaverim kol Yisrael, Chaverim kol Yisrael, Venomar Amen. Rosh Chodesh Adar Bet, Yeh Bayom Hamishi Veshishi Haba, Alenu Vel kol Yisrael Letova, וחודשנו הקדוש ברוך הוא עלינו ועל כל יושבי תבל לחיים לחיים ולשלום אמן לששון ולשמחה אמן לששון ולנצח אמה לנאמר אמן our closer, Sarvi and Patty Igor. Page 441. Ki nukhoyam al-shuvadonai rivavot al-fei Yisrael, 
כי לקח טוב נתתי לכם תורתי על התעזובי עץ חיים למחזיקים בה וצומחיה מאושר דרכיה תחנו עם וכל נתיבותיה שלום השיבנו אדוני אליך ונשובה חדש ימינו Thank you to everyone who helped, truly helped make this service happen. Thank you to Paula Lewis for her beautiful davening and chanting and Torah chagbang. And thank you to Liana Hurwitz for braving herself to come up here and do her part. We would like to do a Musaf reading. We'd like to invite Luther Jet to please come. Um, this is with uh, thanks to Chazan Michael Zusman, who shared this with us in our listserv yesterday, and I thought it would be a beautiful piece to work with, um, a prayer for peace, adopted from the Hebrew of Rabbi Nathan Sternholt, who lived in the Ukraine, from the, I believe from the late 1700s to the early 1800s. May we see a day when war and bloodshed cease, when a great peace will embrace the whole world. Then Nation will not threaten nation, and mankind will not again know war. For all, all who live on earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or to destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God Bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in scripture. I will bring peace to the land and you shall lie down 
and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts and it shall not be ravaged by war. Let love and justice flow like a mighty stream. Let peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea. And let us say, Amen. Thank you, Luther. We turn to the memory of those who are no longer with us. The Shekum is found on page 451. We are still in the period of Shloshim. Dr. Carl Leventhal, father of Dinah Leventhal, and Marty Gallant, brother of Myrna Goldberg, and Marty Tolchin, our Dot Shalom member. I'm apologizing, I believe I'm correct on this, that Shiva continues tomorrow night online at 7 p.m. and also daylight daytime online visits in the afternoon with his daughter Kay and partner Barbara. We're also honoring the recent loss of Edward Malkin, brother of Susan Goldberg. And those honoring yard sites, Gertrude Robbins, I believe Goldman, Lee Goldberg, Ella Hochmeyer, mother of Jean Hoffman, Lenny Lehrer, father of Mimi Blasiak, Frank Berger, father of Arthur Berger, Jean Peters, mother of Sheila Feldman, Claire Paley, grandmother of Derek Paley, Janice Spivak, mother of Melissa Fox, Lawrence S. Simon, father of Kathy Simon, Harry Goldman, grandfather of Eileen Abbott, Leonard Lenny Fierst, father of Barry Fierst, Barbara Maxstein, mother of Neil Maxstein, Elaine Randall, mother of Lauren Randall, Min Heyman, mother of Harriet Sugarman, Mary Rose Hosey Rogalski, mother of Ruth Knapp, Marilyn Osabel, aunt of Naomi Edelstein, Linda Crone, mother of Stephanie Firestone, and Gus Winter, grandfather of Beth Sperber Ritchie. I'm inviting those in mourning or commemorating a yard site to rise, page 451, Kadish Yatom. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shnei raba, v'yalma v'yvera chiruteh v'yamlech malchuteh, v'chayichon u'v'yomechon u'v'chayi d'chol b'yit Yisrael, v'agala u'v'zman kariv v'imru Amen. Yehe shme raba mevorach le olam olame almaya. Yit barach vietabach viet paar viet ramam viet nase. Viet hadar viet hale viet halal. Shmeid kuvisha brehu. Ela min kol brehata vishirata. 
to those who mourn. You will all have to forgive me. We are ending earlier than I anticipated, which I think for many does not feel like a terrible thing. Um, so we will go on to uh, Elenu, please, page 445. Please rise if you are able. Eino
tell you how amazing it was to hear the voices that are here in this room singing that wooden tonight. We um, do a Tuesday night Ma'ari service on Zoom, and we usually use this. And I have to imagine everybody's voices, so now I'm going to hold this and carry it with me every Tuesday. So thank you. Thank you. Um, it is time to ask for, do we have a board greeter? Okay. Shana? Shabbat Shalom to everyone here as well as everyone who is on Zoom. Uh, reflecting what Cheryl said, it's really wonderful to see um, all of us in the flesh uh, and as we're starting to, to move into a more physical presence here in the building. So I want to um, also express great thanks to Cheryl Hurwitz and to all of the people who helped on the BIMA. Cheryl Hurwitz, um, Eliana Hurwitz, Paula Lewis, we had some wonderful readings from Ralph Nitkin and Luther Jett, and I don't know if I have missed anyone, but, but uh, Ralph Nitkin, yes, for that, uh, that wonderful blessing. So um, I want to let you know what's coming up uh, next Shabbat, March 5th, we'll have Rabbi Sid on the Bima for Refugee Shabbat with um, a speaker from Hyatt. We will also see Rabbi Fred and Minna give Billy his talit, so it should be a really special Shabbat next week. Um, I also want to give a small uh, public service announcement about physical service presence. And it's that we're starting to um, come back to the building. We need people to register when they're going to come in person each time. We're going to start tracking uh, the vaccine and the booster. So you need to upload that to us once and we'll have it in your record and you won't need to keep doing that. But we're starting to get all these things in place for safety, security, your help and your understanding um, is really, really uh, important uh, and very welcome. So registration uh, each time you attend and once uploading your vaccine information, including the booster so that we have that uh, and don't need to ask for that um, each time. So uh, again, thank you so much for your cooperation. Again, uh, Shabbat Shalom to all of you here and all of you on Zoom and Toda Raba to Cheryl. Thank you so much. Shabbat Shalom, thank you. So those in the room, we will see you if you like in the social hall. As a reminder, masks stay on in the lobby and anywhere else except in the social hall where they are optional at your discretion. I hear there will be bagels and schmear. If you are in line, online, you're invited to stay for a breakout room, I believe. Um, this is the first time we haven't had communication with the Zoom folks, so I'm not sure, but I believe that's going to happen. So if so, please enjoy your own egg with our virtual community. Paula, would you join me for Kiddush? Oh, you did, there's no, we don't have a, a challah or juice we were supposed to. Is it coming? Or? Oh, it is up there, okay. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Vishamru Bene Yisrael Et HaShabbat La'asot Et HaShabbat Lev Dorot HaMberit Olam Vishamru Bene Yisrael Et HaShabbat La'asot Et HaShabbat Lev Dorot HaMberit Olam Shamaim the Ethar 
את יום השבת ויחגגו צברי חבריי לחיים ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם בורא פרי הגפן אמן ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם המוציא לכם מן הארץ ותעמו שבת שלום, שבת שלום, שבת שלום, שבת שלום, שבת שלום, שבת שלום. Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom